Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here doing kind of a channeled message for you guys um, for the end of this uh, for the end of this cycle and into the Lionsgate portal. Okay, um, I do a lot of meditating on this stuff, you guys, and um, I've been on this journey for a long time, and I I really get the feeling like at the end of this portal, this is or at the end of this cycle at the Lionsgate portal kind of marks a time when things are about to really change not just in your own lives but kind of worldwide okay and you know there are certain cards in the tarot deck that stand for certain signs of the zodiac and I've got them all out here okay for me anyway these are the ones that stand for the signs so um your water signs are a bit more flowing they kind of flow back and forth into each other so this is really the only different row here but um yeah i've come to kind of the feeling i have a feeling that um all of these you know it's all about energy right but all of your specific signed cards right um, they represent where you are now, what you're doing right now at the change. This is a very important change um, in cycles, okay? It's going to um, put you on a different path for a lot of you or teach you some lessons for others of you, okay? And I feel like these represent where your energy is now. Um, um, so anyway... This is really more of a channeled message, but it's for all signs. And I'm going to go through all the signs and how I see you guys coming across in this new portal. Okay. Um, maybe what you have to expect. Maybe some things that you need to work on about yourselves. But we're going to go through it like this. Um, just uh, let me know if you like it or not, too. Okay. So anyway, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you really just take what does resonate toss out the rest you know these are channeled messages so they're not going to resonate with all of you okay um and thank you so much everybody for helping me grow this channel thank you for all the likes subscribes comments shares donations everything i do a lot of my channeled messages here so for your sign read your specific zodiac readings um all this i do all the signs divine feminine divine masculine readings collective readings over at my main channel lumen moon tarot okay so look me up there but anyway i've got all the signs out here that remind me or that instantly um clue me in that it's it's a, it's a zodiac a zodiac signs are attached to, to to the major arcana of the deck okay starting with leo right the, we're going to do fire signs first Leo, at the portal, I feel like you guys really just want to take charge of your life. This is a time when now you just want to be happy. You want to, um, it almost feels like a leap of faith here. But I feel like you've been standing in your, in your integrity. You've been strong, very strong, very much a leader kind of energy, right, of others. But now you're reaching a point in your life where you want to reach for your own happiness, okay? So all that strength that you've had, you need to kind of put that into you. Um, you may have to be strong in order to get to your happiness, but with perseverance here, you're going to get to where you want. Right now, it's, about, um, it's, it's a time for you to take control of your own happiness and really just focus on you, okay? And I feel like as long as you stand in your truth, you keep those boundaries up against the things that no longer serve you, right? And you stand in your integrity. Your intentions have to be good here, right? You're a leader, and right now you're leading your own life, okay? I don't see anybody else around you, really. Some of you could have a baby on the way in your future. Maybe that's what you're hoping for. But whatever it is that you're wishing for, right, I feel like you're going to have to be really, really strong through this, okay? But it, it is coming, all right? I'm also feeling like you guys could have some kind of big realization here that's... Um, really going to help you through the next cycle okay no matter what that is it's just finding what your happiness is okay 
So you may have to be strong. Some of you are pregnant and maybe you weren't expecting that. You're going to have to be strong through this as well. Some of you are going through a childbirth. And I don't know, um, it may be a difficult one. So you're going to have to utilize all of the strength you got in you. Okay, but you can do it. You can do it. And in the end, I feel like if that's the case, if you're having birth, uh, giving birth and it's a baby and you really have like, you know, it could be a difficult birth, right? This baby turns out healthy and strong. You turn out healthy and strong. Everybody's good. Okay. So that I see you is where you're going in your cycle. Okay. In your new one. Aries. Okay. I feel like Aries, you may want to take a leap of faith, start trying some things new. Um, you may want to leave some things behind. There are some people who are warning you to watch your step, Aries. So try to remember not to do anything too um, risky, right? Be careful with any risk that you take, especially when it comes to your money, right? Because I'm kind of seeing this as your, you know, any kind of money you might have left from taking all these risks. Okay, so watch your money at this time in this new cycle. Um, listen to the warnings from people, you know, you may not want to do that. Watch where you're going, that kind of thing. Because you're going to feel like making a lot of impulsive moves now, right? And taking leaps of faith and starting new things. Um, just be mindful of where you're going, okay? And listen to the warnings that you're getting. But I see you guys taking, like, starting a whole new journey here. A whole new journey. Um, yeah, and I feel like you're putting some things behind you that made you happy before and kind of taking a risk to leave them behind and move on forward to something new. So that's where I see you, Aries. Um, just watch that uh, riskiness, you know. Um, don't do anything. Well, I don't want to say don't do anything too. Yeah, don't do don't be too impulsive, you know at least look down at the ground, see where you're walking, try to get your direction straight, you know, that kind of thing, right? So Aries, that's what I see for you. Um, so Sagittarius with the temperance angel out here, I feel like you guys are in your emotions, okay? Your foot is like completely submerged in this water right now. And you could be manifesting a new soulmate connection here. Um, I feel like this, you're going to have to use a lot of patience here, Sagittarius, and maybe try to get your balance straight. Um, I feel like, you know, um, mixing something up here, you could, you may want to look into your spirituality, just dive into spirit more, okay? Because I see this crown over here, but it's behind you. Either um, you're leaving somebody behind who is a Sagittarius, either you're leaving someone behind you that is a divine masculine, divine feminine, or this is somebody who still has to do a lot of work on themselves, right? And they haven't come up to your speed yet. Um, whatever the case, I feel like you need to get balanced out. You need to be patient, right? Um, for love and you need to possibly um, dabble in your spirituality a little bit more. Find out, do some research, have an awakening here. So this is for either for you or someone else, but I feel like um, I feel like you could be leaving a divine partner behind here. All right, but um, trying to be chill, trying to be patient. You've got one foot out on the rocks, but another one fully submerged in all of that emotion. So yeah, this may be an emotional time for you during the Lion's Gate, okay? And you may be trying to, some of you could even be drinking here, doing a lot of drinking perhaps, but I feel like um, clarity's coming and you just need to be patient, okay? Taurus, Taurus, you're going to be on top of the wheel of fortune here in the next cycle, okay? I feel like that's just your placement here. You're going to be, you've worked really hard. You've put in a lot of effort. You've had snakes around you. You've had people trying to delay this wheel for you, but it really is your time. It's your time to open up the, a new chapter for yourself, okay? Um, a new page. I feel like you guys 
have been around and around this wheel, but here you are stationed at the top and you're strong at it. So you've really worked for this Taurus and you're about to get blessed, I feel, with money and advancement and you're just going to be on top of the world here in the next cycle. Good for you. Good for you. Real strong energy there. Virgo. Um, for you, Virgo, I really feel like you've had it really rough for a long time. It, your cycle has been, you know, we've followed Virgo on my on Lumen Moon Tarot, and I feel like um, the last cycle for you has just been really hard. It's been one thing after another for Virgos. You guys have been um, keeping your emotions inside, overthinking a lot. Um, possibly ashamed of your mistakes and quite frankly just feeling very lost. Okay, you feel lost and alone at this time. I feel like Virgo, there, there may be some things that you're ashamed of too that you're hiding under this cloak, right? And you could even be hiding how you feel um, to everybody else around you. But you're trying to find the way out of this energy because I feel like it's just been one thing after the next with you. Okay, it could be how you manifest, but I feel like now is a time when you're going to have to utilize every tool at your disposal here to change your life around. I feel like in this energy here, it's very, very dark. I feel like you're the most depressed sign out here out of all the, the zodiac signs, especially if you're masculine energy. Okay, um, Virgo masculines have gone through it. And I feel like it's time for that to end now. But in order for it to end, you're going to have to take action and get out of your head. You're going to have to utilize everything on that table to change your life around. Okay? So this is a chance for you to um, put your creativity and your manifestation skills uh, to good use. Get out of your head. Stop hiding how you feel about things. Take the hoodie off and get some sunlight on you, right? Bring the color back into your life, Virgo. Now is the time to bring the color back into your life. I would love to see you guys getting out of that um, last cycle of struggles and chaos and sadness and regret. You know, uh, so yeah, now is the time to get out of this hiding kind of energy it's the time to get out of this depressive energy, feeling lost, and get out there. Utilize those tools, start high-vibing again, and start living your life again, right? So that's what I've got for Virgo. For Capricorn, what I'm feeling off of you, Capricorn, is you know what? It's time to break the chains of the bondage with, with toxicity, Okay, so any past toxic relationships, right? Anything you've been tied to, and it doesn't have to be in the love department. It could be anything. Friends, family, um, old uh, um, habits and addictions, right? I'm feeling heavy on addictions here. It's time to break free from that because quite frankly, Capricorn, I feel like you've carried these things with you, Um you have felt really stuck in situations, but this is something that's now starting to hurt you here at the end of the cycle into the new one. You're just going to get burned if you keep holding on to any kind of toxicity, addictions, toxic people, toxic situations. It's going to burn you in the end. Okay, and I feel like you're starting to kind of sort of say, I don't really like this anymore. Is it okay if I break free? No, Capricorn. I feel like you need to, if you're going to break free from something, you need to be more assertive because the things that you're breaking free from are difficult to break free from. So you have to be just as difficult and driven and assertive in order to break free. Okay? Yeah, so that's what I get. And watch the upset. Some of you could be obsessing about somebody else. But I'm what I'm really feeling like is, you know, this is when you need to be more assertive. And if you know you're in, stuck in something toxic, Capricorn, you, you know in the long run it's just going to burn you. Right? Yeah, so be more assertive if you want out of toxicity. 
Um, for Libra, Libra, hands down, you stand for justice, okay? You speak your truth, you make sure things are fair. And I feel like with this new cycle, you're about to step into your justice. Some of you could be um, uh, going through some kind of um, court case you're gonna be you're gonna be awarded with justice you you'll get your justice in this new cycle I don't know how you've done, been done wrong in the past um, I mean for some of you you could have been overworked you could have been lied to you could have been you know um, betrayed you could have been it could be anything but this this cycle you're going to get justice for all of the energy you put in the past because with this sort of truth and these scales balanced you you have um stood in your truth and wanted fairness for a long time i think you fought for fairness for yourself for a long time and now is your time to get that justice okay so i feel like um, either you're going to get karmic justice or you're going to get your dharma, right? Which is good, good things, right? So yeah, be prepared, right? But I feel like you're going to get, you're going to get your justice here, um, in this new cycle. Okay. Uh, Gemini, Gemini, what I see for you is, um, a soulmate connection that's being brought together, to be honest. I am seeing that somebody may have been absolutely obsessed with you, but I feel like this is your cycle for real, true love, okay? You may have to, you may be faced with a decision to make when it comes to love. Um, what, what are you going to do with your new cycle? Who do you want to be with, right? I feel like you're getting messages from the divine at this time. I feel like you're growing in knowledge. Um, with the snake behind you, you could have someone in your inner circle that um, really is kind of sneaky, okay? But I feel like um, there is somebody who is watching you from afar. Uh, they may even be focused on you as their world is burning down right now. But what this card really shows me is a choice. A choice that you're going to have to make that is a very life-changing choice okay it's a choice that is divinely led it's a choice that comes with a lot of messages and downloads from the divine trying to guide you through it so pay attention do your meditation right because soon Gemini you will be faced with a life-changing choice okay and I feel like um, you're gonna have to use your intuition for that okay so a choice is coming up a decision about love is coming up for you okay in um, in this new cycle all right Aquarius Aquarius I see you on a glow up I see you maybe having to still do some healing on yourself um, you may be trying to heal other people here but you have to keep healing you okay um, with the energy that you put out, you also have to remember to put that love back into you. I feel like you guys give a lot, okay? You give of yourselves a lot because it makes you feel good, all right? It puts you in the public eye. People genuinely love you. You're inspiring to other people. But, um, you know, that can drain you of your energy. I feel like the big thing here is focusing on you feeding yourself getting out there and glowing and just being you showing your originality and your style and people are going to be loving you you're going to feel very much like you're in the spotlight um in this next cycle some of you are going to be advancing to stardom in this next cycle and actually put in the spotlight um some of you could be starting a project just um directed towards helping and healing other people and it's just gonna it's gonna propel you into a new cycle of a lot of peace beauty right and stardom for you um a lot of people are going to be listening to you and following you in um you know in a good way spiritually following you in this next cycle okay so good job and you've never looked better you're really good at putting love into yourself here okay good job 
Cancer, for you, now here's where it gets glitchy because water is much more flowing than all the other signs. So they kind of blend into each other, okay? Cancer, you guys are probably one of the strongest cards in uh, zodiac signs in the deck right now, okay? You've decided being through a battle, you've lived your life in... Um, in problems, right, or poverty, or struggles. It's been a battle for you your whole life, and now you're finally taking the reins of your life. You're taking control back, and you are moving forward into nothing but happiness and victory, okay? Um, you're done with the battles. You've been through it. You're very guarded, um, and you're a warrior. You've made it to the warrior stage in your life, okay at this at the beginning of this new cycle this um you know cancers used to be considered as the sweethearts right of the zodiac but now you're the strong ones you're the warriors um and you're high vibing and you're you're moving forward so fast and so intensely um just focused on you and being very guarded you're leaving a lot behind you and in doing that, you're just you're just driving towards um, your happiness here, really, in the new cycle. So you've battled a lot. You've battled people. You've battled your own demons. And you're done with that now. You made it. And now is when you get to move forward and start living a high, vibing, happy life. Okay? Good for you. As blending in together with Pisces... I'm really feeling like um, you're keeping all of those moves hidden. Some of you could be facing a major location change or, or home move um, also, Cancer. So um, keep your moves hidden. And I feel like you are. You're, you're, leaving, you're leaving a lot behind, and you don't care if people don't know what you're doing. Okay? Um, so, yeah, keeping your moves hidden. For Pisces, Pisces, once again, you're blending in with Scorpio a little bit because of that water, right? But for Pisces, I see you guys, um, you know, you may there may be some kind of upset here with another person who could have been blocking you from moving forward. So you may need to clear that energy out. I feel like the universe is really not happy with that situation, okay? Um, I feel like they've been warning you for a whole time or for a long time. You may need to make a decision between two different paths here and there could be a blockage. So be mindful of that. Now is the time I feel to choose what, what path you want and get on it, right? Um, and I feel like maybe you're getting annoyed here or the universe is getting annoyed. It kind of feels like stagnancy here wanting to please other people um, but wanting to take this path at the same time you got to choose between how other people are are viewing the situation and what you want okay so in that aspect as you blend in um, this is a time to move forward right and be high vibing you may have to cut some people out you may have to call some people out you're going to have to possibly defend yourself in order for you to get on the path that you want okay stop being so timid right Pisces stop being timid it's time for you to take a stand all right so that's good though Pisces right for Scorpio Scorpio I'm feeling like with you Scorpio as always your cutoff game is unbelievable you've got the strongest cutoff game in the deck next to cancer now okay you guys feel like you're neck and neck to me here um, but your energy is flowing again, very free-flowing. Um, you may be calling someone out in this next cycle, Scorpio, calling a lot of people out, up to six people, like, you did this to me, you did that to me, you did this to me, I know about that secret, this secret, that secret. I really feel like you're calling people out, and they may not like it. Like, it's going to be a shocker for them. Maybe you were always very polite with them. I and mean, what I know about Scorpios is they don't really talk a whole lot. Um, but when you do, man, it's abrupt. Okay? 
um, and it's blatantly honest. And I think that's what you're going to be doing with a lot of people around you in this next cycle. And it's going to it's going to shake things up and it's going to bring down foundations. But most of these foundations, Scorpio, you didn't they didn't work in your favor anymore. They weren't for you anymore. And I feel like that's what that's what you're saying here. I know what you did and said. You're not for me anymore. I know what you did and said. You're not for me anymore. And I feel like this is this is the time in your life where you really end these cycles, even with people that have been around you and from your past for years and years and years. I think this is you just saying, I've had enough, and it's time to let these bridges burn, okay? So anyway, guys, yeah, that's how I'm seeing the, and really, it's just your sign cards, okay? Let me know if this resonates with you. I feel like it's just everything is coming to a head, even in the tarot cards, right? Um, you're finally adopting um, the energy that, that the tarot cards have been, um, that you've been named on the tarot cards, right? So, yeah, and I feel like it's because of this cycle ending and a very, very important new cycle beginning. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, let me know, right? Click that like button. It's really just a channeled message, guys. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. And, um, yeah, like, subscribe, share these videos, right? Help this channel grow. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.